Hey guys, are you here and today I want to take a look at a few games of some Frost Mage, Boomkin, Holy Pally games that I played um, yesterday night or the night before I think against a Thug Cleave. So Thug Cleave right now, Survival Sub or BM Sub is a very, very good comp. I don't see it too much in the US for some reason. If you guys are uh, hunters or rogues out there, definitely something to try or, or Priest. I played it yesterday on my Priest. Um, so I want to talk about this first uh, pretty big mistake from my part. Um, I actually go ahead and sheep the hunter to get his adaptation off, which is great. That's really good. But what I didn't do is get myself in combat. If you guys didn't know, sheep doesn't get you in combat. So I did get sapped even though I sheeped the hunter. So what I could have done is just ice lance the hunter to get myself in combat and then sheep or spell steal. Um, you know, maybe the shield from the priest, something like that. Any type of, uh, you know, movement to get me into combat bat so any combat movement um and then sheeping to get adaptation would have been a much better opener for me um go ahead and trinket that and use my belf silence into a sheep onto the priest which is actually really good right because if i don't belf into a sheep then the priest is going to get off his premonition to shadow or death and i'm not going to be able to you know get that cc with the lace out you know trying to fake or something like that so it's going to take much longer so all in all not a bad opener getting some pretty good damage here onto the hunter uh, we got two sheep sahaj and a clone on the priest a little overlap but we get a um pretty cool little combo here onto the priest i wanted to point out so we frost nova him and then beamed if he's in the frost nova he can't move out of the beam if he's in the beam he can't dispel the frost nova so it's kind of like a root beam but my uh, boomkin doesn't actually have to cast root if i just frost nova as well we get a, a half clone off that little overlap it doesn't matter too much and uh, once again, just a pretty decent opener all around. I do get feared. I just immediately block it because my Boomkin's actually getting pretty low. And as far as, you know, offensive cooldowns, we've been doing great. But defensively, we've already used Sack, Skin, Trinket. Um, definitely pretty scary here. If it goes on too much longer like this, I'm not sure if we're going to win the, the race of cooldown trading. Um, and what I want to talk about in this game. So right here, actually, I'll replay this. But what I did was cast a Sheep. And since he has... Premonition is still available. I decided to move forward to actually stop my cast. And if you saw that I move forward right there, you sh it should stop the sheep cast. So that should have been a canceled cast. However, there's some type of bug in the game right now. I don't know if it has to do with server lag, but ever since 7.2, if you blink while casting and move, uh, it's, there's a slight delay, slight lag that will actually make you continue your cast while you're moving. So you're casting while you're moving, although that shouldn't really be allowed. So I cast while I move. In this case, casting while I'm moving sucked because he actually got the death on the sheep. So full sheep broken there due to a bug. Thanks, Blizzard. Hopefully they fix that soon. Wasn't in the game last patch or ever before. So hopefully they figured out what was causing that bug. But uh, so that cost us a lot of offensive pressure right there. Um, bash up onto the priest. We get pain suppression here from the hunter. You know, decent pressure, decent pressure, but... We could have a lot more considering I'm not being trained um, and I could just be spamming out damage here onto the hunter and to the rogue most of this match. Um, you know, I could probably be getting even more here. I fake the, the premonition here from the priest and get a full sheep onto him. So that's that's definitely good there. Um, basically, I don't want any of my sheeps to be shadow or death. If I'm going to risk, uh, you know, having my sheep shadow or death, I should just wait for a hodge, just wait for a clone, wait for something and then do the sheep off of that. Um, maybe a bell of silence like I did earlier because I don't really want to just you know go for sheeps and then have them death It's such a big way. So that one sheep that was death put us behind a lot um, We might have gotten paints up a go sooner which means the go that he paints up We might have either won or gotten you know even more cooldowns from that. So it's definitely a race against the clock here So right here, um, I could have just damaged these DPS right here and that might have been better But look at this priest what I'm trying to do to this priest right now is almost a waste of time and damage So I'm trying to get a sheep onto him The rogue is kind of you know seeing that I'm, I want to sheep and he's kind of peeling me away I decided to blink around frost nova belf silence the priest into a sheep which actually isn't a bad combo That's something that you guys might want to you know I'll actually rewind that so you guys can take a look So the priest is behind the pillar. I blink frost nova belf and cast a sheep So there's nothing he could have done to avoid that especially since he's He's relentless but what the problem here is the hunter and the rogue are sitting at full hp and the problem with that is we're just not getting enough pressure out to make this full sheep even worth it so after a full sheep i mean we should have a hodge an orb a comet storm ice nova like boom just just destroy someone we had a full sheep 
and literally nothing happened out of it. Um, so one of two things needs to happen. I either need to wait on my sheep a little bit longer or just not really go for sheeps and just focus on damage more. Or two, we need to save like our Hodge, like orb, like big goes for when I actually do get this sheep instead of like a Hodge right here on the priest, which, you know, helps, but you know, it isn't too, too, you know, critical so if we had like a Hajj orb onto the hunter without adaptation with the full sheep of the priest boom the, the game's over but instead we weren't really doing that um and then here the game is kind of over because my pally is you know out of cooldowns we get some really nice uh control here onto the dps but pally ends up going down so a couple big mistakes that game um you know wasn't played terribly some pretty decent combos a, a full sheep loss due to a bug but overall you know, not bad. Let's hop into another game versus these same guys. All right, so this is versus these, uh, you know, same guys, Hunter, Rogue, Priest, and I'm playing the same exact comp, Frost Mage, Boomkin, h -Pal. Here we are on Dalaran Sewers, um, fighting them. And so I, I kind of want to really point out that I'm not going to go out of my way to try to get these sheeps instead of focusing on damage and then getting the sheeps when they come um when you're playing something like a rogue mage or when you're playing something like windwalker mage you do go out of your way to get the sheeps and then you burst but with a comp like this boomkin mage you have a lot of just spread pressure you have a lot of consistency so you can just do damage and then once you do damage and the guys get a little bit lower then you can land your sheep when he has to come in and heal full hammer of justice full sheep boom um you know very very nice setups like that but if the guys are both full hp the hunters full hp the rogues full hp it's not really worth my time to go out of my way to push into the priest get the sheep and they're just full hp still um it's much better to route them first with this comp so that's what you can see with these varying comps some comps you're gonna have high you know spread pressure you're gonna have high consistency um and other comps you're not you're going to really just the guy's gonna be full hp you're gonna get cc and then you're gonna burst 100 to 0 and that's more classically how frost mage is played but guys with with a shadow priest with a boomkin a lot of these comps are played differently so like right here even um instead of really just chasing this priest behind the pillar i thought i could do a a belf into a sheep but the what was dr from beam i think um belf into a sheep couldn't really get it so instead of trying to chase forever i just stopped chasing and start doing damage and it's kind of weird and it feels kind of newbie to just do damage but doing damage is really 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 important in this comp because doing damage offensively is what keeps you alive defensively um so get feared here could have blocked it maybe but that's okay that's not like i needed to no critical moment as far as dps goes um we have a hodge on the healer bash on the dps here with an orb uh no follow on to that hodge though we get a beam on the cast um if i could get a sheep or if we could get a clone it'd be nice my boomkin should really be peeling them away from the priest so that i can sheep the priest off of the pillar um, but the hunter is getting quite low if we want to push in there this tar trap actually threw me for a loop i was like what <laughs> just like it procked and i couldn't even move at all um sheep the rogue up there get kicked on my blizzard cast they're all kind of low and the priest is ooming so as long as we kind of keep this up where I'm keeping that blizzard down. I like to call it like my caltrops, right? Like, cause it's just undispellable AOE slow. Keep that blizzard down, keep that slow down as much as possible and really just go from there. Here I got my, my sheep deft and that's just really bad. It does happen. It's not something you can 100% avoid, but it's something that is good to avoid as much as possible. So that's not good. Uh, I just <laughs> tabbed out to my song right there. Um, I'm doing that mind control. I got a little bored. Uh, throw down a blizzard here onto the hunter. Throw down that orb as well. He does some pretty decent damage. Uh, Priest is still floating around 50-60% mana, so that's not the greatest. Full Hodge, though, casting a full Sheep out. I do get Step Kicked and then Sheep Shot, so I'm not going to be able to follow uh, the Priest with any CC. I do get that clone instead, which is very, very nice. Um, Hunter and Rogue are still training down the boom. Can you get a full Sheep off of that clone? It does death it. So the, the, the Sheep off of a, a clone, I really should have belfed into that Sheep. So that's another kind of mistake there. If I belfed the Priest into a Sheep, he wouldn't have um, had time to death me. I do risk kind of getting feared, though if I do run in and get close to that priest, but it's still a little safer, I think, than trying to land that sheep perfectly off of that clone. Um, I mean, at this point in the game, though, it's not looking too bad uh, as far as defensives. We, we're starting to get our, some of our defensives back. Um, Hunter is in a terrible spot right now, getting completely cleaved down by my orb. And I get a beautiful, this is a very nice setup here. We have a bash on the priest and a hodge on the hunter. This is what I like to see cross cc um hunter has no trigger available three seconds left for that hodge is a good chance he could just go down here i sheep the priest full and the hunter is 10 percent life he does come out of that hodge 
and barely manages to get his turtle off. If I didn't sheep and let my boomkin clone, or if my boomkin didn't clone and let me sheep, um, we might have been able to kill that hunter there in that stun, but we both ran over to get that CC instead of staying in to do damage onto the hunter. Regardless, pretty decent go there. Got a good amount of cooldowns, got a good amount of pressure. Now they're really scared, all playing behind the pillar. Uh, you know, Priest is getting even lower in mana. Once he goes zoom, we pretty much win as well. This is the kind of positioning that we like to see. Have them behind the pillar or behind the pillar. Blizzard behind the pillar. Just kind of rot them behind a pillar. Because um, we have really no chance to die and we're going to win that game. We're going to win the game, uh, you know, War of Attrition after a while versus a hunter and a rogue by a mile. It's not even going to be close. So as long as that game keeps going on, we're going to win. If they, if they keep running us down and we don't really control them, we're eventually, you know, going to lose. So right here, very happy about this positioning. Um, keeping a blizzard on them to get that orb back up as soon as possible. And um, yeah, let's fast forward this a little bit. Uh, pushing in, I just have my orb down, cleaving them all. Cast another blizzard to get another orb uh, back. So just keep, just spam orbing at this point. Priest is getting low mana, just trying to heal through this. Hunter try to push, you know, tries to push out, but as he pushes out, he's getting so, so, so low. Fake the death there onto the priest. Get sheep shot it up, so I can't really land that sheep regardless. Um, Hunter's, you know, still taking it a little bit. Um, trying to maybe get a, a sheep here um, onto the priest. I do miss that belf silence. I get feared, I block. I try to belf him into a sheep, but the belf is too far away by the time I actually did it. I uh, fake the death, but he's in the blizzard now, so I, I'm not even going to really focus on landing a sheep right here. I'm just going to blizzard all three of them. I'm actually going to hit the priest maybe a little bit. Uh, you know, he's 20, 25% mana now. My pally's almost full mana because my pally did manage to get a drink off. So as long as we can kind of, you know, keep this up and just route them all, we're going to win. So sheeps don't even matter as much because he's this low mana. Uh, dampening, dampening's kicked in. This game's more about damage. If we do land a sheep, we can finish it off a little early, but, you know, it's not worth to, you know, give up my damage or go out of my way, really, to get that sheep. Um, you know, like I said in that first match, that's one of the big reasons I think we lost, because I was really not focused on damage as much as I was, or I was not focused on damage as much as I was focused on landing a sheep. Uh, Light's Wrath coming off here. Uh, my my Boomkin Prep Dog is getting uh, pretty low um, as I get feared up there. Pally gets sapped. They have nice uh, cross CC here. Mind control coming out, fake the death, so I do manage to get that full sheep. So the full sheep was because I easily, you know, fake the death, boom, got it. Wasn't a big deal. Wasn't didn't go out of my way, didn't stop my damage. So when you're playing Boomkin Mage or Shadow Priest Mage, those are the sheeps you should be going for. The sheeps that aren't gonna stop your damage. The sheeps that aren't you aren't gonna go out of your way. It's not gonna completely destroy your damage rotation. But when you're playing with a Windwalker, when you're playing with a Rogue, when you're playing these setup-based comps, you need to go out of your way to get those setups. But here, as you can see, as the game just goes further and further on, I get feared, block that, lock the Priest. Hunter's getting so low now. Um, this game should be pretty, you know, over soon. We get Beam on the Priest, Orb on the Hunter. Hunter actually, <laughs> I thought he was dead, but he feigned deaths. He stands back up, he gets a shield, spells seal the shield, and he goes down. So that was a pretty nice game there, guys. A um, little bit of a turnaround. We fought them a few more times. I think we started winning after that. Um, but that's basically the goal here. Here's a scoreboard if you want to take a look at damage and healing. Guys, when you're playing a rock comp, don't push in for sheeps you know, on cooldown, on DR. Focus on your damage. The sheeps will come to you once you have that damage in place. So that's comps like MLD. Uh, Boomkin Mage, Shadow Priest Mage. When you're playing a setup comp, um, you really want to, you know, with a Windwalker, with a Rogue, something like that, you really want to go out of your way, push in four sheep, and then 100 to owe someone, and then run. And it's kind of like, uh, you know, push in, pull out type of a play style. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it cleared things up on the varying play styles of Frost Mage. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Guys, Zaryu shirts are still available here for another, just about another week. And then they're going to be gone. So if you guys want to pick up a Zaryu shirt, the link is down below. Make sure you check them out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!